Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you our tent campsite setup for a two-week tent camping trip. And please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. It means so much. Now, let me start off by showing you our kitchen area, which we do put a canopy up that we have a screen for. And that just kind of separates the kitchen area from the other areas of the campsite setup. And the screen also helps keep the bugs out during the daytime and the evening time as well, which is really nice. But I'm going to just open it up for this video. <laughs> And right here to the right of my kitchen is my Cabela's. I believe this is the deluxe kitchen. And I will try to find this and link it down below. This has been a game changer for me for my campsite setup. And right here to the left is where we keep our coffee station with our collapsible tea kettle so we can have tea at nighttime. And I will link as many things as I can down below for you guys also. And then I found this little wicker basket from Goodwill and I just use it to house our stevia in the middle with our tea bags for the evening time as well as our spoons to stir our tea and our coffee with and this pumpkin spice mix that I like to sprinkle on top of my coffee along with the filters and then in this basket here that my husband screwed to the kitchen table we have our frother for our coffee our cinnamon our MCT oil and our magnesium calm for at night time and that is everything. And then underneath that part of the coffee bar is this canvas bag. And on this section, I just house all of our meal prep items, our coffee, and our recipes. And then underneath that, I house our two eye burner. And then to the right here, I house our iron skillet. And then in here, I house our farm fresh eggs because those don't need to be refrigerated. Those are for my chickens. And... I just string some garland up and then right here I went ahead and put some matches in this container and I glued the match scratcher to the top of it and I house all of like our pots and pans and just our little miscellaneous items on these hooks that come with the kitchen as well as our fruit baskets and then these three compartment containers that I velcro to this wire rack fit perfectly under here. And so I just like to house our napkins, our plates, our forks and our spoons, and then our collapsible colander with our dish drying mat. And then I actually housed all of our vitamins in these pill containers here. And then in this other box I have just miscellaneous kitchen items. I house all of our knives in this drawer and just our sharp objects. And in the miscellaneous item I have like Zip ties. Zip ties are great for camping and just random little things. And this is a spray bottle with Lysol because flies do not like Lysol. So I will spray our surfaces with that. And then we've got our Ziploc bags up here. And then in this canvas tote bag, I have our hot pads. I keep all of our spices in these little containers here. I keep all of our breads down here in the middle. And then on the bottom are just miscellaneous cooking items. And then on the top of my mini fridge, I found this caddy at a, like a wholesale place for $7, um, or like a flea market, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I house all of my cooking items in here, which is great. It just makes them super like easily accessible when I'm cooking. And then I've got my fly, my fly killer right there. <laughs> um, and I just wrapped up top. Over the top of the mini fridge, I wrapped these little pumpkin stringed garland lights. They're super cute at nighttime. <laughs> and then we've got our mini fridge, which is awesome for things like half and half and butter and sour cream, things that normally don't do as well in a cooler. So I love having my mini fridge. I would highly recommend it if you camp somewhere that has electricity to definitely invest in a mini fridge. I got this for $70 off of like I think Facebook Marketplace, which is great. And then this is a collapsible trash can. I will definitely link this down below. This thing is awesome. It's great because it zips up. And then this is my kitchen sink. I love it. I will link it down below for you. It's a game changer. <laughs> we screwed holes in the side of it and we put S hooks in it and I hang like our kitchen rags there. And I've got my collapsible dish drying rack here and we keep like all of our 
toothbrush and toothpaste in it so that way you know we could brush our teeth at night time and then this little crate is where I house all of our mugs that we bring with us camping and I also keep our Berkey water system on top of this table and then here to the left I've got all of my kitchen towels and then on the bottom here in this container is where I house all of the excess items that we need to replenish with as well as our s'mores bags <laughs> and I talk about our s'mores bags in my previous camping video that I will link down below for you. And then we do keep a cooler as well. And I like keeping it in the kitchen. It's great that way you have room somewhere to sit while you're in the kitchen, <laughs> which my husband likes. And then we just put these icicle lights up for nighttime. It's so pretty, you guys, I love it. It's great to make sure that your campsite is well lit at nighttime because everything just gets so dark. And then these are our camping chairs that we got from Cabela's. I like them because they go all the way up so you can rest your head against them and that's nice. And then I just bring a cloth tablecloth for when we eat dinner at nighttime and I put a citronella candle on the table. I try to keep it as simple as possible. I don't like to bring a ton of stuff for camping, but I still like my campsite setup to be kind of cute and homey. So I did bring this little wreath here and it just made for a cute little <laughs> decoration by the table. And you also want to make sure to bring a clothesline to hang your towels on after you shower. Now this is where our friend Ryan stayed and then right next to him we have our Kodiak canvas tent which I highly recommend. I love it so much. <laughs> and so let me just bring you inside of our tent so I can show you our tent setup. Now this is our bed and I'm gonna go ahead and just explain our bed situation to you. Basically we bought two extra long cots from Cabela's. I will link them down below for you. And we found these REI self-inflating mattresses on Facebook Marketplace. And we just set these two three inch crate memory foam and just a regular memory foam bed topper on top. And then we just butted the two cots up next to each other. And I was able to fit a king size fitted sheet over all of it. And then my husband actually made this tray for me and I like to set my coffee on it while I'm in my tent reading during the day or in the evening time. So I love that. And then we just have our electrical outlet here so we can plug up our phones or our heater or our fan. And so that's really nice. And then I've got all of my husband's clothes and his little toiletry bag right here. And then next to that, we have our pop-up hampers to put our dirty clothes in. And then this is just a little organizer that came with the tent. So I like to house our spray. I, after I make the bed every morning, I spray it with that citrus spray and it just makes it smell really good inside of our tent. And I just keep little miscellaneous items in these pockets and we keep my husband's hat here. <laughs> and then I keep our ponchos in here in case it rains. And I just keep my toiletry, a few of my toiletry items in that black bag there. And then I actually housed all of my clothes in these three pop-up bins <laughs> that I found at the grocery store several months ago. So I keep like my pajamas in one and then my clothes in the other two. And it just keeps everything nice and organized. So I like doing that instead of a suitcase. And then I just keep all my camera and my books and everything in that black bag. And that is our entire campsite setup. Let me know what you think down below. Please don't forget to subscribe and until next time, I love you guys so much. Bye.